here to show you guys what I eat in a day. Obviously different things work for everyone so I don't do keto, I don't do any crazy diets. I have just been portion controlling for me. I can't do restrictions. If I restrict myself from something, I'm gonna end up binging. For those who don't know, I used to be super, super athletic. A typical day for me in the past when I used to be super athletic is literally walking like seven, eight miles a day at work and then going to perform at my games because I used to dance professionally for another six hours. So back then, <laughs> that Diana used to be able to eat however and whatever she wanted. And I literally had a four pack. Like I would eat so much junk and never gained weight. Now that I'm not dancing anymore <laughs> and not moving nearly as much, it slowly started catching up to me. Now we're slowly learning new habits and we're slowly learning how to portion control because I didn't know what that was. So I did start out with calorie counting and measuring out what I eat. I know different people say different things and a lot of people say that's toxic, like you don't count calories. Look, if you're like me and you don't know how to portion control and you don't know how to judge how much is too much when eating, then personally, I think calorie counting and measuring out your food at first is beneficial because that's gonna be able to make you realize if you're eating too much and if you're having too many portions. I also tend to do intermittent fasting naturally, maybe three, four times out of the week. I don't tend to get hungry in the morning, so as you guys saw, all I had was water and then I went and I did a workout before eating anything. That's just what works for me. It may not work for everyone. But obviously, if I wake up hungry one day, I go ahead and eat before my workout, but I usually tend to just have my workout and get that out of the way first thing in the morning before eating anything. Now that I'm on my own schedule, I'm obviously not gonna be able to move nearly as much as I did. And a lot of my time is spent sitting down and editing because I do content creating. So that's why it's very important for me to get a workout in or some type of movement at least five to six times a week. Not only is working out and movement obviously essential and really good for you, but I found that my lack of movement caused me to start having like a lot of pain in my body, specifically in my back. Because my core isn't nearly as tight as it used to be, it's starting to cause pain in my joints, which makes sense because I was super athletic for literally my entire life, like for maybe 10 to 15 years, because before I danced, I was doing gymnastics and cheer, so my body like went into shock. So I literally went from 100 to zero real quick and that put my body in shock. I naturally do intermittent fasting three to four times a week. I've been trying to get a workout in five to six times a week. I've been calorie counting for months. So obviously, I don't do it every single day. I mean, sometimes I do get off track, but I feel like I'm just now starting to get a grasp on portion control and what it means to portion out your meals. So for those who are interested, in how many calories each meal is gonna be. I'm gonna try to put in a rough estimate of how much each meal is calorie-wise. So yeah, this is gonna be a realistic, healthy, no restrictions what I eat in a day, but I'm also trying to stay within roughly 1,600 calories a day so I can reach my weight loss goal, but also to be able to have a sustainable, healthy lifestyle that I know is gonna work for me. The end goal is to be able to eat intuitively without overstressing or over worrying about what I'm eating. I'll stop talking and let's get on with the video. But before I do, I want a little snack. I want a little something sweet, okay? My sister made these chocolate covered peanut butter almond dates. I don't know how many calories are in these, but I'm assuming a date is like what? 60 calories with some like chocolate in there with some peanut butter with some almonds. I don't know, maybe this is like 150 calories. I don't know, but I'm gonna have one, okay? These look so bomb. Look at that. And she put them in the freezer. So they're like extra crunchy. Um, okay, I'm gonna have this one right here. Oh. 
Oh. That's like really hard to bite into. That's it. One and done. All right, it's lunchtime. I spent way too long shooting content and now I'm starving. So I'm gonna get started with these turkey stuffed bell peppers. I will link the recipe down in the description box, but these are so delicious, so filling. Each piece is roughly 230 calories and I have two of them, making it a 450 calorie meal. But uh, let me get started with this because the girl is hungry. <laughs> There has been so many times where I found bugs while washing my veggies, specifically bell peppers and cilantro. And I'm washing both right now. So if you don't wash your veggies, you nasty. And your fruit, like strawberries are very dirty. I recently found out that baking soda cleanses them out even more. So I like to spray that on there as well. Okay, I like to add some sriracha and a little bit of sour cream on each. The sour cream. And a little bit of cilantro. 
I don't even know if this is cilantro or parsley to be honest, but whatever, same thing. Oh, I need to show you guys a close up of this. Oh my God, that is a masterpiece. That is legendary. That is out of this world. That is iconic. Mmm. Mmm. You know when something's so good, you can't believe it's healthy? This right here. every day okay well at least i don't i don't have the energy for that so this is going to be good for another couple days that way i don't have to worry about cooking lunch tomorrow or the day after that so i was going to make a tuna avocado salad today but i literally had lunch so late because i got distracted shooting content i had lunch at like 7 30 p.m and i'm honestly not craving actual food i'm just craving like something sweet like this is gonna be a realistic what i eat in a day so i'm gonna end my night off with the best halo top chocolate chip cookie dough and you bet i'm having this whole paint you know why this whole pint is 360 calories obviously some days i eat more some days i eat less but uh i'm trying my best to just listen to my body and my body's telling me that i don't want another meal i just want this goodness right here but yeah i'm definitely planning on doing more of what i eat in a day types of videos i hope you guys enjoyed this one i'm gonna eat my ice cream and wind down for the night and i will see you guys next week bye